All right. Welcome back. Today we are going over the threshold filter. This one's a little bit fun. I'm just going to throw it on here so you can see what it does. You saw the original. This is the original. All right. And here's the threshold. Okay. So this has just a few options. It has uh, six main options. And the correct for alpha we'll go over in just a bit. But right now there's no alpha channels on this, so there is no reason to go over it. Um, all right, you have a light color and a dark color. Color, And what this does is anything within a certain area of the threshold is not touched. Everything else is either thrown into the light or thrown into the dark. So my light color, let's change it to pink. Oh, come on, light color. Pink. And dark color, let's change it to blue. Only a darker blue. Okay, and now if we change our smoothness, this is going to make it much more of a rough transition, kind of a two-tone effect, and this will blend it and give it that 256 shades of pink and blue effect. And threshold is going to change the point of where it goes. Okay, and intensity is how intense the difference between the two are. Through the wall. Good. You guys having fun yet? Right on. All right, so there's that smoothness there. Okay. Let's do the same with this. Let's just make it goofier. Let's do green. And red. This is basically like the teal and orange, if you've ever seen that. Only a little more modifiable. Okay, now let's check out the correct for alpha, all right? I'm going to go in here and find something with an alpha channel. Hey, look, my intro. It's got an alpha channel. Let's do the intro alpha. Here, we'll just throw the logo on it. No, because the logo doesn't have any color. This is the old one that I did when I had a bunch of weird stuff on it. Okay, let's throw in the threshold in there. And you can see what it's doing to the flames, right? Now, if I hit correct for alpha, it will allow the flames to blend a little better. Let's make those flames bright yellow. It looks like this looks like. Uh, the flames from The Expendables in the first movie. They're awful. There we go. All right. Okay, now if we turn that correct for alpha off, let's see, let's go to the end of this. See that right there? Now let's turn it on, and you can see how the, the difference is with that. kind of makes the alpha channel a little more visible. Okay? So that's it. That's, that's pretty much all the threshold filter does. Um, and it's kind of fun to play with. This is this is really cool if you want to tint your film to give it some some kind of an effect. Um, I kind of like it a little bit better than just using a tint or a tritone. I I really dig this um, this threshold filter. All right. So that's threshold, and then tomorrow we'll go go over textures. All right. Thank you very much for watching.